everybody, it's Sam here and today I'm going to show you how to make this card which I have called a kissing fish or kissing frog card. If you watch my Facebook live you will understand why and how those all came about, those names, but also I hope you can see from the top view here it kind of looks like two fish kissing or if you maybe do it this way then it can look like two frogs depending on the way that these sit we were just having a right giggle so this is a big card but i'm going to show you how to make a single version so this is like the double um what i would call a showstopper card so it's a big mantle pleaser you've got lots of space on the back to write your message loads of space on the front there to show off your pattern papers and any nice toppers that you might have you don't need any specialty dies for this um i break down all of the steps just your school board and some nice cardstock so let's get started So I use the lovely Paddington Christmas uh, papers. I just wanted the focus to be just on the paper pack and the ephemera. There are also some stamps and some washi, I think, with this as well. But for this uh, card, I just use these two here. So like I said, I'm going to show you how to make like a single version or like a half as well. I don't there's a, There's so many different... When I made the card initially, I didn't actually intend to make this kind of style. It just happened. So and that's how a lot of these kind of unusual fun folds kind of take shape. So I've already prepared half of it here and this is like the the extra little pillar that we need to attach there. So you want you could just have that as well. OK, so this makes a fun shaped card. It's basically just like a bridge fold, but I've added the extra score line and you can see how it gives you that different fold there. If you're a member of my Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group, already people have been sharing their versions and they've done different like halves of it. They've done the big full ones. So I was, you know, kind of direct people over there if you want more inspiration as well on the card styles that I share. So you'll want one to two pieces for this, the kind of version I'm going to show you now, or four pieces of all of the measurements I'm giving you to make the big kissing frog <laughs> card there. This piece here is 11 by six. And along the 11 inch side, you're going to score at one, three and a half, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. You'll then want this piece here, which is five by six. And along the five inch side, you're going to score at one, two, three and four. OK, I'm going to go through all the mats and layers later on. We'll just get the card base made first. OK, so with the largest piece, you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Next, you just want to trim a little bit off of the end where you've got the five panels. So one, two, three, four, five. The end one here, just take a little slither off because this is going to fold back in on itself. So by doing this, just that tiny bit will just remove any kind of bulk and it will give you a true square tube shape when we go to stick it down. So I'm going to use my construction glue. So at the very end, so again, the, the last one of these five panels, I'm just going to run my glue all down that side there. And then if you fold it over so that you have one plain one and the one with glue facing up and then fold over so that you've got one now facing you and then you should have two big panels and then another one. When you bring it all round, you'll see you've got your tube. And because you took that little bit off, that's what I meant about that square shape there. And then you want to do the same with this one. So again, fold and burnish. And then at one of the ends, just take that little slither off and then make sure you add your glue to that same end. And then again, fold it so that you've got one plain one and one with the glue facing towards you and then fold over that last one. And it should also fold completely flat again because we just cut that little piece off. Bring that back round and now we've got that tube shape. OK, so next I want to show you just a few different ways that you can put this together. So what you can do is stick this one, flip it around, stick this middle piece over this one and it will give you this shape card. So it's half of this one here. You've again got all your space on the back there. You could add your topper for an envelope for this size because it's like, what was it, 13, I think, by six. You would have to make a, you know, piece some pieces together. Um, I haven't. Yeah, that one I might even just hand deliver literally like this. But it was just a, we were just playing around, really. I am now showing you a more practical one today. 
but to get that that kind of one that i just showed you there that's half of it and then again if you cut the other two so you had four stick them all back to back and you have that card that i just showed you you can also stick the two together here and you get that little kind of fish or frog look so you can have that as a card and this way has been shared already by some members in the group on facebook so i think that looks really nice but then to get the half so this is kind of like a pillar, a centre pillar card or something. You know, there's so many names for all these folds now. But this is the one we're going to make today. Now, you could cut an aperture into here and have something inside. You could have a spinner. There's just so much scope with this. So hopefully just me showing you those kind of steps there just breaks it down a little bit. But now I'm going to attach these pillars. So I'm going to use the side where I've stuck the other one over. And then when I stick it down, I'm going to make sure the join, which is here, is inside. And stand it up, and that way you know you've got it nice and flush with the bottom, like so. Again with this one, glue, and again just place that one down there. So now flip one over, and you're going to add your glue to the back of those pillars, the tubes, like so. And now we're going to stick those together. And I'll give you the overall measurements for this one when it all folds down at the end. And I will direct you to my envelope tutorials as well. So just make sure they all line up. And again, it's all flush with the bottom. OK, you see you've got that fun shape. I've got these kind of double column. I've done a lovely one where I did poppies all over it. There's so many. Um, again, I'll try and do like a, a column playlist or a... I've got bridge fold one, so maybe I'll just add it all into that. I've got so many different um, playlists, so I will. I'll do a kissing frog playlist. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our fun card blank all ready to decorate. So here I have my mats and layers. So I'm going to give you all of the measurements. So these ones measure two and a quarter by five and three quarters, and then two by five and a half two of those you could have more on the back as well but I'm going to leave that blank so I've got my space for my message and then you want to cut yourself one two three four five six for each side that's if you want to go all the way around so you'll need 12 in total which is what I've got here to cover all of your sides here but you may just choose to do this inside here and then the two on the side that way you're in that case you only need eight but these all measure three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters and i embossed them using this one it's the creative craft products ponsettia embossing folder i thought that tied in quite nicely so you can see how that's all going to look and then my topper is this one here which is i just love this one let the festivities begin there's paddington dancing with his bow tie on that's going to probably be more towards the top and then that one at the bottom or maybe that one at the top. I'm going to have two little toppers on this one. I've got this here and I'll give you the measurements for those. So we do that at the end. I'm going to get all this stuck down first and then I can show you that part. So that's everything now stuck down. I've just squashed the sides a bit. I do like them like this. And um, I think it suits the name then, Kiss and Fish as well. But I think it's got a lovely look about it. So to attach your topper, I mean, you may be sticking something here. You might not want to add something like this. You might just have a nice sentiment in this piece and maybe a... a stamped image or something but I'm actually going to do two of these so this one I've done for the back of this one but the measurements I give you will be the same for this one I'm just going to um, make it thinner this way so this is a piece of three by one inch and along the three inch side you want to score at half an inch one and a quarter one and three quarters and two and a half okay and you're going to fold and burnish all of the score lines like so and then it's going to attach like this you want this middle half inch piece to sit kind of equally over your score line of your card there what will happen is when this pushes out it will push this out and this flat panel here is what's going to hold this you'll see it just kind of floats so the width i've done one inch but you could do it thicker if you've got a bigger topper you might have something that's quite large on here then i would go a bit wider but you still want it to be three inches and then those score lines so i'm just going to trim this piece here i will do um so again the three inches but i'll do it just by um yeah half an inch because i need it to go behind that sentiment just check that's gonna yeah that's gonna hide behind there nicely so again half an inch 
one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and two and a half. Stick these down first because even if you stick these in one key, it doesn't matter because you can make sure the top is straight. But I think it's easier to stick these on first because you can see exactly where you're sticking them. Whereas if you've attached the topper on top, it could be quite hard. So I know this one's going to be about here. So I'm folding them under and making sure that this half inch, like I said, is just kind of equally spaced across this one. I'm just going to sit that on top. So it gives me a rough idea. And then this one here, I want kind of the same here as I've got at the top there. So, yeah, I think again, just kind of roughly. So again, adding my glue on either side to fold those in. And then just sit them over like so. And then again, I can just see where that's going to go. I think, yeah, that's going to look nice. So now I'm going to add a little glue just in the middle of that one and also in the middle of that one and this is what I mean so if the the panel underneath is a bit wonky this is what you can you know spend the time making sure straight so I'm just checking the border here and here and also at the bottom there I'm just going to give that a minute to dry and I'm just going to add a couple of little snowflakes here I've done them in the gold, so I'm just going to have one there, just kind of overhanging. So that's the finished card. I think it looks wonderful. Really, really pleased with that one. So like I said, that's the one I think most people are going to go for. The finished size of this one, you kind of got two measurements. You've got six, six by seven, if you fold it that way in, or six by nine, if you fold it that way. And you can make envelopes for both those sizes and I'll have the playlists or the links coming up now. Like I so said, this one here, you'll have to be a bit creative. <laughs> if you've got some A3 paper, then that's going to be a, a good shout to uh, to get an envelope for that one. If you want the exact measurements for this one, check out the Facebook Live and that'll be linked below. Because this one um, is five inches high because my first intention was so it could be more for a five by seven envelope. But I thought I'd do this one with the six inches because I just think you get a bit more, a bit more height, more room there so thank you as always for watching today i'll have similar cards coming up now i will have links to the products will be just here and if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed click on my face and you will be able to subscribe to my channel and that way you won't miss out on any future videos take care and i'll see you all again soon bye